AEI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. Let's start out by looking back at the last decade of Thanksgiving days around here. Tupelo and Starkville, the average high in the low 60s, the average low in the mid 30s. And we've had a little bit of rain around Tupelo over the last 10 years, but not so much in Starkville on an average basis. Tomorrow's looking very nice picture perfect mid 60s. Columbus, Starkville, West Point, and Tupelo, mostly sunny skies with light wind. Now, it was breezy today. We had some rain showers. Right now, we have a clean sweep with our live radar. About an inch or less as far as rainfall from earlier today. We needed that moisture. It's been a pretty dry month of November so far. Now that rain is moving away from our area. It looks like it's basically done for the night. And there could be a little bit more that tries to flare up across northern Alabama over the next few hours. But in general, that's gone, and we should be more or less home free for a while. Case in point, a lot of you in downtown Columbus, 62 degrees. The sun just setting and it's looking uh, very nice out there. 65 in Vernon at Durham's Pharmacy, crystal clear as well. A few friendly clouds in Tupelo, 68. The wind gusting over 30 miles per hour today, now down to about 7. And still around 70 in Louisville, so it's relatively mild right now. So our evening's going to be pretty good with lows down into the 40s later on. Not as chilly this evening as where we have been, but later on tonight, by the time we wake up, Upper 30s in Oxford, 44 Columbus, maybe 44, 45, 46 to the southeast of the Golden Triangle area. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, low to mid 60s north, mid to upper 60s in the south, and as I mentioned, light wind. The showers and storms on the way out. High pressure comes on in for Thursday, Thanksgiving Day. More clouds to our south. Now, most of Friday should be okay. A better rain chance is initially closer to the coast. Some of that rain is going to get closer and closer to us by the afternoon and evening. So we will throw in a chance for some showers here Friday afternoon and Friday evening. It doesn't look like a major deal right now, but there could be a, uh, some rain around for those high school football games. Our next system will start to get organized late Saturday evening and Saturday night. That will swing on through the region, and it looks like it's going to be a downright wet day on Sunday as this rain shield moves on through. Maybe some thunder in there, uh, but it could be rather soggy as we close out this holiday weekend. And then it gets much colder next week. So tomorrow's looking great. A little bit of rain possible Friday afternoon and evening. We're dry Saturday. No problems for the egg bowl, but it will be wet on Sunday, upper 50s, 40s, and maybe lower 40s for highs on Tuesday with lows in the 30s and 20s next week. All right, Keith just mentioned.